that the kid? Huh. Seems to be when I was a kid, I had a lot of fun growing up. Hey, maybe I could get some of my friends here just to show you how much Okay, now, 
someone comes up to you behind the other one. And I mean, when I'm high, I feel like I'm on top of the world. I feel like the rest of the world is going to hell. I don't give a care about anything else. But <laughs>
It's mud water. We've always discovered that when we taste test ours against our competitors, we always wind up liking ours best. And we would just like to say that this one comes from France, and it's made it with Perrier, which comes from the bowels of the earth. This stuff is disgusting. Are you about done, Ed? Well, I'd like to get... Well, I'm not about done yet. I would just like to say, as usual, thank you for your support. <laughs> Welcome, friends, back to the old Jerry Fallen Show. I represent the immoral majority. Now, I'd like to show you this little baby we picked up. This is a C-759 anti-aircraft gun, which you can purchase from us. It only costs $150, and I tell you, it's got the kick of God in it, I tell you. Now, friends, we're short on time today because of this Ronald Reagan speech. I don't like Ronald Reagan because he doesn't know how to kick some ass. I mean, whoops, excuse me, I meant you. I didn't mean to say that, friends. That was a, that was a slip of the tongue. Speaking of that, you know, I was talking to Hugh, Hugh Hefner, and we were discussing his new Playboy issue, and I tell you, it is going to be the best. He is going to start using couples. Yes, couples, yes. And it will be on sale at your newsstands in May. This is May. Well, then rush right down there and get one. I have written a book called Types of Immoral Behavior. And yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty well stocked book. And you can buy this book at your local bookstores for only $10.95. And all that money will come to me, of course, because I do need a new Porsche. Okay. Now, friends, I have been wondering and contemplating. And I, uh... Now, friends, as I was saying, let me, uh, describe to you why I'm in such casual attire. I was walking around the neighborhood in Harlem, and I saw poverty, I saw stress, I saw despair, and I didn't think it would be wise for me to wear my $300 suit, because those people would rip the clothes off your back. I tell you, I wonder at night. I lay in my bed with my three wives, and I think about what life has to offer and all that I've taken. And I leave you with this thought. I leave you with this one thought. I got you before you got me. Gotcha. <sighs> what about on your fifth Coke there, man? My fifth Coke? What are you making? Oh. It's a high-protein spinach shake. Want some? Sounds disgusting. I'm oh, sure I rage. I only eat it as caviar. I don't eat stuff like that. Hey, what time is it anyway? Four o'clock. <gasps> Four o'clock! It's time for Richard Simmons! Hey, you want to get up here and do this with me? Uh, I can't believe this. I'm Come on! One, two, three, I'm too four! Good for this one. I can't believe this day, guys! Mm, I'm too good for this. Shut up, guys! <sighs> Listen I'm to this! Listen to this! First off, ugh, you will not believe I'm walking around the stupid oh, campus my and I can't now. find the asshole. Shut up! Second of all, I was walking past the oh. dean trying to make a good impression because there was a bunch of gorgeous guys around and I pull his flipping pants right off his body and all the guys start laughing at me. I am so sure. Would you stuff a marshmallow in it? Really? See, hey. you don't have to listen to little Try an orange. Mm -hmm. Fit Try your own orange. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> will you get that? I'm trying my nails. I will. Oh. Hello, the new girls are in town and available. She can't come to the phone right oh. now. Her nails are drying. <laughs> Who's that? Just print. Just Ha <laughs> ha! Just break. Ooh, 
there's going to be next pay for this one. <gasps> I've been waiting a year to go out with just Brent. <sighs> Mindy, <sighs> calm down. You know about your blood pressure. <sighs> Brent, just Brent. I'm <sighs> sorry, Steffi. <sighs> sorry. Be careful, okay? Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Oh my god, are you okay? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my Operator, give me the hospital. Yes, this is the bed of Dawn's room at UCLA. My friend fell out of the window. Please hurry, please. Oh my god. god, Elise! Oh my god. Good evening and welcome to Coeur d'Alene News. I'm Cynthia Rathbur and this is... Debbie Jensen. Welcome to the program. Debbie will now tell you about the latest news at Coeur d'Alene High. Well, folks, we've just heard a rumor that... Guess who? But only our president, John Binkley, was caught in the study hall picking his nose. That is terrible. He was trying very hard to help the Ethiopians, but he just couldn't get enough. So, I heard that they are having an official pick aid. We need all your guys' help, so come out this Saturday. I also heard that our very, very loved exchange student from Sweden, Frederick, is one of the famous people attending this affair. Mm -hmm. I hear it's going to be excellent. That is me. Now with the sports with Cynthia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And in our sports today, we have the Coeur d'Alene track team taking over the Invitational and winning it. Yes, the Coeur d'Alene track team. It was wonderful. Big Daddy was very, very pleased. He said it's one of the best teams they've had all year. Coeur d'Alene tennis team girls and boys um, had a match against Lewis and Clark Friday. And the girls and the boys both lost, but were able to take at least two of their varsity matches out of the five. And the coaches are very pleased due to even all the rain that they have been losing um, a lot of their matches that they've done very well this year. Also, mm -hmm. it's great. And in the baseball, up in trail, the boys lost to the Canadians. One of our international losses, but we'll be getting them next year, says Coach Page. That's all. Now for the weather with Debbie Jensen. With the weather, this boat. <laughs> the worst <weather. laughs> catching of you, Debbie. Yes, it's horrible. I know. Must be this picking up the nose yes, thing. Yes, I think it is. Well, it's been raining dogs and cats out there lately, but since it's such a nice day, and we are voting on the levee, it decided to be sunny out today. But tomorrow it is sure to rain again. The high at the big 40 degrees. That is our, the end of our newscast mm -hmm. with Coeur d'Alene. This is Cynthia Rasper and Debbie Jensen saying good night good and night. sleep tight. Bonjour, how are you feeling? A little sore, but the doctor said I could go home pretty soon. That's great! Très bien, that's magnifique! Brought you some flowers. Thanks! Well, he said that I can leave after he comes and visits me for a while. So why don't you pull the curtain and we'll talk okay. until he comes. Ooh, it's not quite over there. I don't know. It's not weird. I wonder what happened to him. Oh, this is the room number, isn't it? Yeah, this okay. is it. Right okay. here. Whoa. Uh, uh, Buffy. Hey. Oh. My name, huh? Elise. Elise. <laughs> well, I, I, I can't say I blame you for, um, for not talking to us. I mean, after all, it was our fault. Uh. That's so bad. Oh my gosh, you look like a mummy. Uh, uh.